Now let's move on to diabetes. There were the DECLARE results. How do they fit in? DECLARE was an interesting study. It looked at an SGLT2, a drug that in part increases loss of glucose in your urine. Mm. We think about these drugs to alter glucose levels, controlling them better, but in DECLARE we found that in fact these could alter the one's likelihood of developing either heart failure or alternatively developing renal insufficiency, kidney problems. The drug was not effective in preventing uh, development of atherosclerotic disease or coronary disease. But for patients, my perspective is, if you tell a patient, I can control your sugars better for a diabetic patient, but I can also reduce your likelihood of developing heart failure or kidney disease, two of the things you worry most about, that's a win. So does this mean we should also be thinking about treating heart failure or preventing heart failure and renal disease in type 2 diabetics? Yeah, I think it's exciting. We have thought traditionally about diseases in one box or in one dimension. We have drugs that lower glucose and we thought about them as diabetic treatments. The realities are these drugs have multiple effects as we're seeing in DECLARE, reducing one's likelihood of developing heart failure, improving one's kidney function as a function of time or not preventing worsening of kidney function. So I think we're thinking about now these drugs, how we're treating a whole diabetic patient, not only their control of their glucose, but looking at how it might affect their heart as well as their kidneys.